Hi! Today we'll discuss about families of curves. I've compiled questions from the comment section and I've decided to make another video about families of curves. Let us now try to solve the following problems. Problem number one, let us define the family of curves of all the straight lines passing through the fixed point HK. Draw muna tayo ng representative lines for this problem. Let's say this is the fixed point HK and some lines are passing through this point. Ano yung pabago-bago or nag-iiba sa lines na to? Notice na ang paiba-iba sa kanila is yung slope or that is M. Dahil pabago-bago yung slope, siya yung ating arbitrary constant. Paano naman yung consideration natin dun sa given fixed point na HK? Dahil fixed point siya, that is a parameter, meaning hindi natin kailangang i-eliminate. Kaya yung ating arbitrary constant for this problem is just 1, meaning 1 lang din tayo magdi-differentiate. Anong equation yung gagamitin natin to represent these lines? We're given the slope and a point. Kaya yung gagamitin natin is the point slope form. y minus y sub 1 equals m times quantity x minus x sub 1. Yung given na parameter na fixed point, we'll substitute h for x sub 1 and k for y sub 1. y minus k equals m times quantity x minus h. Differentiate natin to ones. Derivative of y is y prime minus... For the derivative of k, kahit na siya ay parameter, Siya ay constant pa rin. So, when we take its derivative, that is 0. Equals. Then, for the right-hand side, meron tayong constant dito. Multiply lang natin sa derivative nitong terms na to. Derivative of x is 1. Minus derivative ng h. Again, that is a constant. Kaya, 0. Simplifying this, we'll get y prime equals m. Nakapag-differentiate na tayo once, pero nandito pa rin si M, meaning, kailangan natin gumamit ng algebraic solution to eliminate M. What we can do is to substitute the value of M doon sa ating original equation. Doing that, we'll get Y minus K equals M is Y prime multiplied by X minus H. This is now the family of curves of all the straight line passing through the fixed point HK. Another way to write this is if we represent y prime as derivative of y with respect to x. Multiplying the whole equation by dx, we'll get quantity y minus k dx equals x minus h dy or sulat natin na magkakasama sa isang side lang this is equal to y minus k dx minus x minus h dy equals 0 problem number 2 parabolas with axis parallel to y axis and passing through the origin Kapag yung symmetric axis niya is parallel to y-axis, meaning yung parabola natin is facing upward or downward. Drawing tayo ng representative curves for this. One is a parabola with vertex on the origin. Next, drawing tayo ng parabola to the left of the y-axis na nagpapas through the origin. And another, facing upward na nasa right ng y-axis. Draw pa tayo ng parabola na nagpa-face naman upward. Ang difference sa lahat ng parabola na to is iba-iba yung location ng vertex nila, and iba't iba din yung value ng A or yung distance from the vertex to the focus. To represent this parabolas, ano yung gagamitin nating equation? Let's say, ang ginamit natin is yung vertex form ng parabola, that is y minus k, 4a times quantity x minus h squared. Hindi natin siya magagamit kasi hindi natin maipapakita na yung parabola is nagpapas sa origin. So, ang gagamitin natin is yung standard form ng parabola which is y equals a x squared plus bx plus c. 
to show that this parabola passes through the origin, yung given a point that is the origin, or yung coordinates nyan is 0, 0, i-substitute natin for the value of x and y. And let's see anong masasolve natin from that. 0 equals a multiplied by 0 squared plus b multiplied by 0 plus c. Simplifying this, we can see that c is equal to 0. Meaning, yung general equation ng parabola na nagpapas sa origin is equal to y equals ax squared plus bx. Meron tayong dalawang arbitrary constant dito which is a and b. Meaning twice tayo magdi-differentiate. Differentiate natin once, we'll get y prime equals a derivative ng x squared is 2x plus b derivative ng x is 1. Simplify 2ax plus b. Differentiate natin ulit kasi dalawa yung ating arbitrary constant. Derivative of y prime is y double prime equals 2a. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of b which is a constant is equal to 0. y double prime is equal to 2a. Twice na tayo nakapag-differentiate pero nandito pa rin si a. We need to use an algebraic solution to eliminate the arbitrary constant. What we can do is to substitute this sa equation na to. We'll get y prime equals 2a is equal to y double prime multiplied by x plus b. Kaya lang, nandito pa rin si b. So we can solve an expression for b using this equation. b is equal to y prime minus xy double prime. Ipalit natin itong equation na to doon sa ating unang equation. In the same way, papalitan na rin natin si a. Solve lang natin si a in terms of y double prime. Dividing both sides by 2, a is equal to y double prime divided by 2. Palit natin ito and ito doon sa ating unang equation. We'll get y equals y double prime over 2 multiplied by x squared plus b is this equation, y prime minus xy double prime multiplied by x. Let's simplify this. Nain ko lang sa x squared, y double prime, divided by 2, plus, expand natin yung bracket na to, xy prime, minus x squared, y double prime. Pwede natin pagsamahin this and this term, we'll get Problem number 3. Circles with fixed radius and tangent to the line x equals 4. Drawing tayo ng representative circles for this. Let's draw the line x equals 4. Let's say that is the line x equals 4. That is a vertical line. And we're drawing tayo ng circles with fixed radius, meaning pare-pareho yung size ng circles natin, and tangent to the line x equals 4. Meaning, a point on the circle lies on the line x equals 4. Let's draw this. Another one is this. Ito and ito. Analyze natin yung location ng center ng bawat circles na to. This one, that is a positive value for age, positive din si K. Ito yung kanyang radius. Same way dito, positive si age, positive din si K. Dito naman, positive age pa din kasi nasa right ng y-axis pero negative si K. And ganun din dito, positive si age pero negative si K. What can we say about the value of age? The x-coordinate of this point is 4. Pag in natin yung radius, makukuha natin yung location ng age. So for this two circle, age is equal to 4 plus r. And for this two circles, age is equal to, this is 4, bawasan mo ng r, yun yung location ng age. Therefore, the center of all these circles is located at 4 plus or minus r. Then yung k is plus or minus k. Sulat natin yung equation for these circles. x minus age, that is 4 plus minus r squared plus y minus, so dahil plus minus k yun, plus minus k squared equals the radius r squared. Ilan yung ating arbitrary constant? Ang sabi, fix daw si r. 
par is fixed, meaning this is a parameter. Ang ating arbitrary constant is si k lang, meaning once lang tayo mag-differentiate. Distribute muna natin yung negative dito bago tayo mag-differentiate. x minus 4 plus minus r squared plus y plus minus k squared equals r squared. Again, dahil si k lang yung arbitrary constant, once lang tayo mag-differentiate. The derivative of the first term is 2 multiplied by x minus 4 plus minus r multiplied by the derivative of this terms 1 minus 0 derivative ng r that is a constant kaya 0 din plus derivative of y plus minus k squared applying power rule y plus minus k multiplied by the derivative of the term inside y prime plus minus derivative of k is 0 equals derivative of r squared that is also a constant kaya 0 simplifying this we'll get 2x minus 4 plus minus r times 1 plus 2y plus minus k y prime equals 0. Simplify muna natin to by dividing the whole equation by 2. Notice na nakapag-differentiate na tayo once pero nandito pa rin yung ating arbitrary constant na k. What we can do is to solve for this term, then ipalit natin sa original equation to eliminate the arbitrary constant. Ipan natin to sa right hand side. Then, to solve for this term, divide the whole equation by y prime. We can cancel y prime. Therefore, y plus minus k is equal to negative quantity x minus 4 plus minus r divided by y prime. Substituting this in our original equation, we'll get x minus 4 plus minus r squared plus, this is now y plus minus k, equals r squared. Simplifying this, Negative squared is also positive. Kaya tatanggalin na natin yung negative sign. To simplify this further, let's multiply the whole equation by y prime squared. So matatanggal na yung y prime squared dito sa second term. And ang matitira na lang is x minus 4 plus minus r squared equals r squared multiplied by y prime squared. Then factoring out this common term, we'll get y prime squared plus 1 equals r squared multiplied by y prime squared. This is now the family of curves of all the circles with fixed radius and tangent to the line x equals 4. Yun lang! Galingan nyo palagi and huwag kakalimutang maging mabuti. Bye!